I love Archie. Sobra. Yung Archie comics. I love Archie comics. Kaya yung Riverdale, I feel so offended. Ah, this one is given to me by Yen. Shout out to Yen! I haven't gotten around to reading it. I'm sorry. Depende lang talaga sa mood. If I'm not a crime, um, murder face haul, I'll read it but for now, I'm gonna keep this here. This one is a good find. I forgot where I, where I bought it. Probably book sale or MIBF. Where I got this at a, um, at such a cheap price. I know. May sign being sale shop. I think this is set in Taiwan or Hong Kong. Yung setting niya near future tapos sobrang polluted na ng mundo na everyone's wearing these bubbles kasi otherwise magkakasakit ka tapos you'll die. So, um, yung meron na silang suits tapos ang nagpaproduce this company. Sabi sa mga, ano, sa mga apocalyptic movies merong company parate. So, yun yung main villain dito sa book na to. It's actually kind of scary kasi medyo real, even realistic pero parang alam mo parang posibleng mangyari in the future na malapit na kasi sa prediction and stuff. Medyo scary to think na ganito ba yung magiging life natin in the near future tapos maabutan ko ba yun? Mamatay ba ako na may bubble ako sa ulo? Stuff like that. How to lead a life of crime. We got this also on sale. National Bookstore, 175 pesos. <laughs> it's actually quite interesting. Parang it's a book. This merong school for criminals. Anywhere else they'd be vermin. At the Mandel Academy, they're called prodigies. You met neither prostitutes, serial killer. The most exclusive school in New York City has been training young criminals for over a century. Ba, ba, interesting. Another one given to me by Audrey. This is by Zoe Sug. So merong no face na sobrang naging obsessed ako kay Zoe Sug, Zoella. The YouTube and commotion and book, which is this. Okay, naman, it's a cute story. It's nothing remarkable. Cute and almost adulting by Arden Rose, YouTuber. Then she's quite funny, and this is metro relatable because, of course, you know, living in the city and adulting or trying to adult on your own, being independent, stuff like that. Relatable, siya. and as I said, Arden Rose is very funny. Yeah. Libro. The Outsiders. This was a movie, Hollywood movie, major classic. There's something sick at actors na nandoon sa movie na yon. Tapos meron dun eh. Parang sabi Stay Gold. Just stay Gold. I think this is another dystopian, Steelheart, or apocalyptic. Um, I haven't gotten around to reading this pa, kasi nga wala pa ako dun sa face na dystopian face. Pero mukha siya interesting, kaya. Mm, ito pa siya sa akin. This one is Tales of Mystery and Imagination, given to me by my former office mate. She knows that I love reading and she loves reading as well. Tapos yun, binigyan niya to sa akin as a gift for my birthday. My name is Memory. Tumatak tong slippers na to sa akin when I was in college, and I think I got into past life regressions because of this, but this was the one that pushed me into. You know, trying to know more about my past life. This book is about two brothers na uh, they always remember their past lives. Parang it started in the Bible, let's say 10,000 BC. They were born in 10,000 BC. And about they got born again as a baby. Tapos maalala nila yung life nila before. Lahat ng lives nila before. Kaya yeah, very interesting. Tapos um, at some point, the younger brother started running away from the older brother because he's medyo evil yung older brother, medyo antagonistic. Tapos merong romance, yeah, fantastical romance. Kasi merong girl dun sa first um, life nila na sobrang na in love yung younger brother. Tapos um, throughout their lives, yun din, alam nila if namita nila yung tao na yun sa past life. So alam nung brother kapag, kapag nakita sila, alam nila kung na sila Sila. By looking through their eyes, I think, may some point na yung younger brother was this um, old duke. Tapos, he was passing by this alleyway and then he saw a little girl who's dying from, from hunger. As in, dying on the brink of death na siya. Tapos nakita niya for a split second 
Tapos na-realize na yun yung girl na hinahanap niya. Hanggang sa mag-align ulit sila dun sa present time. And then they were running away from the brother. The older brother. It's really good. Comics! I love Archie. Sobra. Yung Archie comics. I love Archie comics. Kaya yung Riverdale, I feel so offended. It's a Netflix series. I mean, the thing I loved about Archie is medyo Saved by the Bell vibe. Kaya siguro I love Saved by the Bell kasi it reminds me of Archie and the gang so much. Riverdale didn't go down that road. Na medyo sitcom-ish, funny. They went yung dark. Parang hindi na embody what Archie and the comics is all about. Kaya hindi ko siya gusto. Hindi ko gusto yung Riverdale. Kung nabasa niya yung How Whatever, yung book na Whatever, yung ep epistolary, you'd know. My opinion. I love Jughead. Jughead is my favorite character in Archie comics. And the fact that he's um, portrayed by Cole is tolerable. And of course, I have the Anne Frank book. Classic. I have the Marauder's Map. I have the last edition of Marathon. I'm going to be Hulk again. I'm so proud. I'm going to be And... I don't know. Paano ko siya napagkasya lahat? Oh, yung Percy Jackson ko nasa kabilang, kabilang storage box. I mean, lahat di ko alam paano siya pagkakasya din. Saktong sakna na dito yung Percy Jackson. Yung Heroes of Olympus at saka uh, the, the Olympians. Percy Jackson books ko. So, lalagay na natin siya. So, yung Blood of Olympus nasa taas eh. So, ganito na lang muna. First book, which is Lightning Thief. This book, um, bigay siya sa akin ni Lola. When she asked me what I wanted for my graduation gift, I told her that I wanted the hardbound set of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Kaya galing siya sa Sweden and Medyo sad kasi pinahiram ko siya sa classmate ko ng college. Tapos, she returned it na nabasa niya. Tapos, pinatuyo niya. Tapos, kinulayan niya yung cover para hindi washed out. Pero, I still love this. Kasi, hardbound. So, medyo protect naman yung loob. Yung gilid-gilid lang. After nun, medyo nadala na ako. Hindi na ako nagpahiram masyado ng mga paborito kong libro. Or, kapag may manghihiram, reluctant akong ipahiram yung mga libro. Unless, alam kong aalagaan talaga nila. Sea of Monsters. Titan's Curse. Natural of the Labyrinth. My favorite books, Percy Jackson series, is, this is the first series, The Last Olympian. Going to Heroes of Olympus, book one, Lost Girl. Son of Neptune. Mark of Athena, my favorite the Heroes of Olympus series. Oh no. Okay, so it's a to I list. And there we have it. Tapos, uh, I have this more orders map. Na ilalagay ko above, para hindi siya masyadong per-save siya. Oh my gosh, I forgot my book! Hindi na siya pa siya. Okay, ayusin ko pa siya. Pero basically, napuno na natin siya. Yehey! Yung Blood of Olympus nasa taas. Yung muulan na. So thank you for watching this episode of my life. And thank you for accompanying me. Medyo pinagpapawisan na ako. Yeah, I enjoyed showing you guys how I decorated my bookshelf. Yung Blood of Olympus na lang mamaya. Eh, bababa ko. Nasa record ako sila. Thank you! And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, please. And please subscribe kung gusto nyo pang ewan ko kung ano gusto nyo. Kasi, gagawa pa ako ng react video maybe some other day. Kasi, like, really liked doing that. I enjoyed doing that. So, I'm gonna do that. Um, for now, may isip ko lang na dalhin kayo since you guys have been asking me for a bookshelf tour and this is, may isip ko, ito na lang yung gawin natin instead of a bookshelf, like, officially tour. 
Because you know. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing and let you go on your way. Have a rocking day, dudes. Bye!